New York City biggest, most profitable thing they have is gonna be the real estate market. Now, New York City will only make money from real estate if there's constant buying and selling of real estate. Now, when you have so many people getting sick and tired of New York City because of very high taxes, we're seeing small businesses are being hard to operate, we're seeing high crime, high shoplifting, rampant theft, and also the migrant crisis, which is literally spending billions of dollars on, is New York City, it's real estate market gonna survive? Well, let's break it down. Right now, New York City lawsuit could cause property tax hikes. This is the last thing New York City wants to do. If you guys don't know, New York City taxes right now are already ultra expensive. They're thinking about hiking it up even more. This is the one tax law that will absolutely destroy New York City. Look at Chicago. Nobody wants the real estate anymore. Real estate taxes are one of the highest in the country. Not to mention, if Chicago had a bunch of businesses that are still around, maybe people will put up with the high taxes. But when you have so many businesses leaving, like New York City right now, with so many businesses leaving to South, you hike up property prices, well, okay, everyone's just gonna leave. Look at this. This is not even that luxurious of a unit. It's $1,000 of property tax per month. The unit looks like this. It's one bed, one bath, under 700 square feet. It's not even that crazy. Units like these will probably be having that massive property tax increase. There's also this one, which is insane. $6,300 a month on property tax. The unit's slightly bigger at 3,400 square feet. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie, but it's almost $6 million. Now, I get what you guys are gonna be saying. A lot of these property taxes is just too low. But you, if you really look to New York City real estate, certain new construction units have some of the highest property taxes you've ever seen. For example, if you go to over to Hudson Yards, go for a two bed, two bath here, property taxes are close to $5,000 per month. It is so crazy expensive in New York City. And the units here start at like 4 million bucks, but you're paying five grand, not including the HOA or home insurance, just five freaking grand a month on property tax. Do you really think rich people are putting up with that? Probably not. In fact, it's getting to the point, what's why would you even buy? Why not just why not just rent at this point when you're paying this much in taxes? So now Hudson Yards condos are selling for almost half off because one, living there isn't that desirable. Two, a bunch of companies are moving out. And then lastly, you have crazy high property taxes, which is squeezing every penny. It's also getting to the point where many corporations are leaving. Like Westfield Mall is leaving New York City forever. They have ended its lease and severed all operations to the Fulton Center. MTA is suing them, but what they're saying is MTA didn't really care about them. And the reason why they're going bankrupt and leaving the city and don't care about the lawsuit is because nobody seemed to care about the crime rate or the shoplifting rate, which is extremely high. Major city mall with 70 stores built for a billion bucks back in 2014, now it shuts down. It's because of all the theft and it's only gonna get worse in New York City. Now Manhattan's trophy apartments are gathering dust. There just aren't enough billionaires or centi millionaires. And by the way, like I said in the first article, nobody wants to live in Hudson Yards. We're seeing 53 West 53. We're seeing the Central Park Tower, even 220 Central Park, all having a very difficult time in selling. And in fact, many of these condos, they'll probably never sell because guess where all the rich people are taking their money towards? There is a lot of rich people, but it's just rich people that are smart and they're refusing to go to New York City and buy these condos. In fact, rich people are going to Man Miami right now. Look at Miami, they have a penthouse for $120 million and now it's in contract. That's crazy. That's what I'm talking about. When you have Miami, Tampa, Austin, Vegas, and even places in Houston are all breaking records. Whereas New York City high in real estate, the ones are like 20, 30, 40, 50 million bucks. Nobody wants it anymore. But the moment you go to Miami, $120 million penthouses easily sell out. I mean, this building isn't even finished building. It's supposed to be built in 2026 and there's already a buyer lined up. And I guarantee you most of the units in this building is probably already sold. If you're interested, it's $4.5 million starting price at over 2,000 square feet. So I guess square footage wise and price wise for the starter units is okay maybe? We get the idea. Miami, very low taxes for business, very pro business. They even signed a law saying they're banning homelessness. It has a great financial institutions there. You're also seeing a bunch of hedge funds moving there. This is the place to be, and no wonder Miami could easily sell these high-end units, whereas New York City right now is struggling and struggling and struggling without any sort of help.
And now New York City is going to be adding on a massive property tax. Can New York City survive the next few years with a migrant crisis and all the crazy shenanigans they're cooking up? I don't know. But I do know, for one, many units are not selling, many people are leaving, and some of the wealthiest business owners are moving south. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.